Hi guys, good to have you all back. In case you are new to my channel, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journal projects, and on the weekends I'm a vintage treasure hunter. Welcome to my channel. Guys, for today's project, um, I have a new, oh, I have, actually have two new stamp sets that I really want to try out. Uh, and I want to make something more neutral grungy so yesterday i did something with lots of colors and butterflies it was really really lovely but now i'm into grunge again so it's going to be something neutralist i think in a bit of a tim holtz style yeah so um what am i making i'm making either tags or journal cards either or or both of them who knows who knows let me show you the supplies that i'm using for today's project for papers, I'm using old book pages. I have used the cover of this book to make a journal cover with. And now I use the, the paper for bases for tags and journal cards and such. I'm going to back them with uh, coffee dyed paper. I have received a whole pile of this beautiful coffee dyed paper from a friend of mine. Very happy with it because I do not enjoy coffee dyeing myself. Now for decorating, I'm going to use bits and bobs for sure. Um... But I printed out one of my freebies, the advertisement freebie, and uh, already sort of cut them out. So I want to use this. I'm going to use rather sort of muted colors, but it's going to be lovely either way, guys. Um, whole reinforcers. You know, bits and bobs. I'll probably use some post stamps or um, some small labels or what have you. For a focal point, I'm thinking a Tim Holtz doll. Now I have several ones. These are the minis. It depends on how big... The card is going to be, but probably a mini. Now, for non-paper items, I want to have a, a topper on the tag. Probably going to use some um, twine. Um, I think I might want to use some hemp cord. I have an idea for this that totally was inspired by Molina. Um, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Maybe some lace. Maybe some lace a little bit. Yeah, to have it a little bit more feminine, not really masculine. Might use some washi tape. Of course, I'm going to do some stamping. For the ink, I'm going to use um, fallen leaves for the stamping itself. And then for grunging, vintage photo and ground espresso. I know for sure I'm going to use my favorite splatter stamp and my new favorite splatter stamp. Yes, that I recently purchased. Um, well, glue, scissors, you know, the usual, the usual. What else? Yes, a uh, stamp set. I have a new one. Let me show you. I actually have two new stamp sets. Now, guys, um, I must apologize in advance. These are Dutch and probably only available at, at Do A Ding. So if you are within the EU, uh, you can order there. They are Masterpiece Designs Memory Planner stamp set. Masterpiece Designs.nl. Maybe they ship international. I don't know. Um, I am not a planner. A planner. Uh, maker thingy i i really i am fascinated by it and i might dive into it uh this summer let's see i have this set i have two sets this is um blueprint splatter blueprint splatter it has a blueprint stamp on here that i really like i absolutely love the splatters i wouldn't use these because i am not into planning or bullet bullet journaling or what have you but i might use this because it's just Interesting, just interesting. Um, memory with uh, definition of memory and, and family. I'm not into this. You know I'm not into this. Then the other one is um, Curvy Letters. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Some scripty bits. I did test it out, guys. They're crystal clear. They're really, really nice, very crisp. I really like them. Some, I think it's almost ledger or something like it. Yeah. Then two lovely labels. You know I love my labels. With already something in it. So fantastic. And then another sort of piece of ledger. With some script. And a sort of. I don't know. Coffee stain circle on it. Uh, it has uh, two sort of written parts. Uh, one is a goal without a plan. is just a wish. Well. I'm happy with this. But I'm never going to use that. And then a piece of advertisement. With some faint sort of numbers on them. So. Yeah, I I did try test them out. They are really, really good. But I did not use them in a project yet. So I'm very eager to. Very eager to. So I'm using uh, these. Now, um, I'm probably also going to get out some Tim Holtz ones and such. But that's, that's for later. Let's start with making the base for... Let's do tags. I'm just going to do tags. Yeah? Okay, let's start. 
Well, this is going to be very simple. You take out a book, a page, really, you do? Yes, I'm just taking out a book page. It's actually two. This is sort of brittle paper, guys. This book is not, um, it is vintage. It's actually um, Arends Oog, I think it's called Eagle Eye. It's a very famous uh, children's book from the probably 50s, 40s, 50s, don't know. Um, I am just going to fold these up. Yes. Like so. I'm going to put glue. <laughs> I want to reinforce them. They need to be sturdier. That is why I'm, I am just, you know, gluing them together. Just using normal glue stick for this, guys. Yes, well, you could use your expensive art glitter glue if you want to. But for these bigger surfaces, I normally use glue stick. There you go. And then I'm gluing it <laughs> to the piece of coffee dyed paper. The tag is not going to be this big. I'm going to cut it in half. There you go. Let's make another one. What we also could do. We could also do this, but that will make for a very small tag. I think I'd rather have them like so. So before I put glue, I fold them first. That works better for me. Very exciting, yeah? Watching me glue pieces of paper together. <laughs> there you go. Yes, now this is, see, it's already warping. That's because it is um, glued with glue stick. If you were to use um, more expensive glue, it wouldn't do this. However, it will flatten out. I'm just going to leave them uh, for a couple of minutes underneath a heavy pile of books to flatten them out and they will be flat again. So no worries. Unless you're in a hurry, then use art glitter glue or barely art glue. I am just going to put it straight underneath here. I do not want to waste any of this scrumptious coffee dyed paper. Yes. So I'm just going to let them dry, flatten them out and then cut them out as a whole. And then probably going to cut them in half. While I am letting the cards, the tags flatten out, uh, I'm going to be stamping on uh, some pieces that I had left the coffee dyed paper because why waste them now if you don't have coffee dyed paper guys and you have uh, for, for instance uh some ink let's say you have some antique linen or tea dye or what have you you could also age them i'm gonna try to age them a little bit um more just put some ink on it and then you know age them a little bit if you want to if you want to that's a possibility now <clears throat> let's see i really want to make some of these labels there you go they are lovely it is coffee dyed paper so it is a little bit grungy already but i want to grunge it up a little bit more so i'm taking out my favorite splatter stamp am i using the antique linen i think so there might be some other color left on here Oh yeah, just in the background before I do uh, some stamping, just going to do this, just this. And then for the stamping I'm using, well, fallen leaves of course, because I love that one. Love it, love it, love it. Let's do small, let's do this one. They're not sticky, the stamps. And I'm really happy with this. I just don't enjoy sticky stamps. Can't even tell which way is up. I think it's this way. Oh, lovely, right? I'm going to do another one. That's too close together. 
I need to leave a little bit of a, of a border when I cut these out. I'm going to cut these out, guys. Yes, I am. I am. And use them either on, on this project or any other project. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Fantastic. I'm just going to do all, st all stamps on this one. And then one more of the big ones. See how nice it looks with the um, splatters in the background. If you do it afterwards, there will also be splatters on the darker part. I prefer it in this order. First the splattering and then the stamping. Really cute. I'm going to cut them out. The tags are flat. I inked all around them. And then when I inked all around them, I realized I want to make these into tag shapes. But I'm going to do that later and then I need to ink again. But that's quite all right. Guys, the, the labels came out really, really nice. I did leave a little bit of a border all around them because uh, on the stamp set itself, it had some stuff sticking out that I really liked. So, so yes, um, I've inked with Vintage Photo. I'm going to use the, the big stamp, the blueprint stamp. Just here and there for some sort of background stamping. There's already a background on there because it's letters on there. Words and such. Sentences. That's what they call them, love. Sentences. Um, so yeah. I'm going to try to use some vintage photo. Let's see. Mostly on the sort of undecorated parts oh yeah Ooh, interesting very interesting a little bit on the top oh yeah like it it's not really clear what it is but that makes it interesting to me cool right yeah really like it second generation stamping a little bit more over here it's just interesting yeah i like it i, I want to do some more uh, background because they have these small little splatter ones and you know i love my splatters they're just cute I'm going to make sort of a cluster just to see what happens. Well, this happens. <laughs> I like it. I just like it. Bit here. Made my own splatter stamp. Well, you can make your own splatter stamp just in case you don't have this one. Now you can make your own splatter stamp. That's really cool. Yeah. What else did we not use? The scripty, the scripty bit. I'm going to use the scripty bit on the back. Oh, I love stamping. Do you? We have not noticed, love. Uh, I need a bigger block. Oh, it's over here. These people have not noticed you love stamping. No. So cute. Yeah. And there's another one. I cannot use all of them. But I want to use all of them. But I cannot. Look at that. Straight out of a ledger book. Fantastic. Are we done with the background? Well, I think we are. I think we are. Let's take out some bits and bobs and start decorating. I think I want to use some small pieces of my advertisement uh, freebie. Um, I already cut them out, but I actually want them to be more torn or ripped. Or So I'm using my tearing ruler. Or you could use your deckled edge trimmer or just, you know, rip it with your hands.
just like this. Now it needs a little bit of inking. Have something on here. Let's do this one as well. Love this one. I think I need to make some more uh, guys, right? Do you want to make some? I want to have some more of these. Yes, just the, the sort of black and white ones that you can print on either acetate or coffee dyed paper or or what have you. Because I have been using these a lot and I need some variation. I just need some variation. Uh, can we still rip this? I hope so. I do not want to print them out again. Well, I didn't do a very good job. I have another one of these. Right, somewhere. Yeah. I should not have cut them out. <laughs> I should have torn them out. Petite correspondence. Am I doing the same thing? I'm doing the same thing. That works. And uh, well, I have four, so I need another one. Want to do the big one? Let's do the big one. I don't think I'm going to have the whole piece of this on there, but maybe a small piece. First layer. Now, um, for the focal point, I'm going to have uh, a Tim Holtz doll on here. One, two, three, four. I have four of these now. There you go. And let's see. What do we have? I think I want to have this half on. Yeah. Good morning, Bart. How are we doing? It's very warm. Well, it's not very warm. I should not start complaining yet. No, if you're a Dutchie, you know what's coming this weekend. Yes, going to be hot already. It's the beginning of June and they're already like August temperatures coming. So, yeah. I'm going to flip this over because also pretty. Also pretty. Now let's do this one. There's a lot of this. I'm going to wait with this one. Yeah, I'm going to have this one over there. Or maybe here on the bottom. Or maybe here on the bottom. Bottom part. And it's going to be a little bit more in the middle. Now, normally I take out all my bits and bobs and start to make a collage. I'm just making a base, except for this one, because it's, this is too small. It could get lost in, in the rest of the beautiful decoration. Yeah. So we need some people. We need people. I just took out a couple of them. There are 133 paper dolls in here. I get sort of overwhelmed quickly so i'm just gonna i just took a bunch out and i'm gonna pick out of these and not out of the 133 yeah uh oh lots of sitting people as well they could sort of sit oh yeah that's cool and then oh are they that these are all sitting as well could they be, be sitting on this lovely advertisement piece or Oh yeah, look at them. Are they all sitting today? Oh, I recognize this guy. Oh, I recognize this guy, but not the guy he's leaning on. That's weird. That's weird. Um. Oh, lovely couple. Lovely couple. These ones on here. And what are we going to do with this? Most of them are couples. Except 
for this lovely lady. She's also leaning. Can she lean on this? No. Oh, yes, beautiful. Oh, look at the tiny little girl. So cute, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Does she belong to these people? Does she belong to them? Should we do like this? No. No, no, love. Okay, I picked out people. Pick these out. He's sitting on here. They're sitting on here. So it needs a lot more decorating. Oh, are the, is this going to work? Because I also want to make this into a tag shape. Hmm. 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 Switch them out. Somebody else. Well, she's leaning. Can she lean on here? I think she can. I'm sorry, guys. Either these or these. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Let's start with this gentleman. Let's start with him because I know um, I want to use him for sure. Um, I have some other bits and bobs like some post-it stamps. And I have these labels, of course. I think I want to have one of the labels flip over like so. Yes. Lovely sort of post stamp behind him. And then we need something here. One of the other ones. No. Taking out some Tracy Fox labels. Just a lovely number. Yeah? Yes. It's going to go here. I'm going to add another element to this, guys. Another sort of eye catcher. You're fiddling about, love. Just put it on. Just put it on. It'll work. It will work. I promise you. I should have put this way lower. Well, so far, my new method is not working. <laughs> Do we need to ink him? Much better. There we go. There you go, sir. Have a seat. Just needed the number. There we are. Yep. Next one. Already picked some stuff out. Um, I'm going to have this behind the ladies' heads. Like so. I'm going to have a poster stamp here. I want to have some lace on the bottom. Because why not? Why not, right? Yeah, I'm going to put that on straight away. I'm not gluing on the lace, I'm just gluing on the paper.
And there you go. Yes, and then I have another sort of... Oh, I could attach this here, right? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. more inking and then this goes here already inked ladies you can tell right yes And this is actually a sticker. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Next one, next one. Um, also want to put some lace here as well. I'm going to put some lace on the bottom. And I have this one up a little bit higher. It's not going to stick out that much. Yes. And I think I want to have petite correspondence on the lace. There we go. I have this beautiful vintage ticket. Um, I'm even going to use both of them. I'm going to have them on like so and then flip them over or cut them off. I don't know. The lovely couple here. I was thinking to add a postage stamp there. And then the label there. And maybe a little bit of post stamp underneath here. Yeah. Start with this one. Does it need inking? It does. There we go. Then this goes underneath. Yes, then this one. Normally I just use one ticket. Um, so this is the first time I'm using two parts of a ticket. Why not? Well, why not? So why indeed? Because I only have these two. <laughs> I don't have any more. I don't believe I have any more of these. So you're going to flip them over. No, I'm going to cut it off. Because now I still have a piece left, a small piece. Somewhere here. Republic of Indonesia. There we go. Yes. And then the lovely couple that I have not inked yet. Oh, yes. And I'm going to add another element later, guys. I'm going to do all four of them. So still want to go and then I'm going to add the last element. I'm really excited about this. There we go. 
Last one. I decided on the two gentlemen. Yes. I'm going to have them sort of over here. I want the last piece of this beautiful ticket behind here. The gentlemen are going to stand on this label. Sort of, like so. Yeah. I'm going to have a poster stamp sort of in between and then this I took out, an, out another piece of the of the freebie this over here no lace on this one no lace on this one it's actually a little bit too big so I took out another sort of smaller piece that will most likely work let's see I need yay much And for this one, same. Okay, I'm going to start with the lace. There we go. I don't use lace enough. I have so much lace and... I love it. I love looking at it. It's lovely displayed, but you also sort of need to start using it. <laughs> I have lovely collections of all sorts, really of all sorts. I'm almost like a hoarder. go oh, this actually needed to go underneath well this is barred so it gives you a couple of seconds so it will work before I stick everything down this goes here 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 did I do it right yes because I wanted these numbers to be visible between the two gentlemen of course <laughs> Yeah. I love numbers so much, I should be a, an accountant. Actually, I don't like mathematics and such and, and counting. I just love numbers. And then this goes here. It might lose a little bit because I need to make them into tag shapes, so... I might lose a tiny bit. Yes, and then just a piece of lace on the bottom here. Yep. A little bit too long. I'm going to trim it. Fantastic. Yes. Next step, I'm going to make tag shapes and I'm going to put toppers on. So I want to add holes and hole reinforcers. Uh, two, four, six, eight. I need eight. These I got in Happy Mail. Very happy with them. Um, these are paper ones that are inked. Really cool. But I also want to add a little bit more. Let's see. I'm just going to add a stamp on it. The scripty one. See? It just makes them more interesting. Okie dokie. Now, let's first... I'm always eyeballing the middle, guys. I'm not doing any measuring. There we go. On this one. Yes. Lovely. And also on the back. 
that's really cute with the lace sticking out a little bit. There's going to be script on script here. Oh, that's okay. Again, script on script. And the last one. Now I almost run I'm almost running out of these. <laughs> I really do like them. There you go. Okay, what else do we want as a topper? Now I'm going to have this sort of very, very neutral, as I mentioned. That's why I'm taking out a piece of this string, twine, just a bit. And I'm making um, a loopy. There you go. If I find these, I pick these up all the time. I have all sorts of widths and thicknesses and irregularities. They're really cool. And the last one. Yes. Okay, now we need to make tag shapes. I'm going to lose a little bit of this, but that's okay. I'm going to take a bit off and then putting it over to the other side, flipping it over, guys. Yes, and then using it as a template. There you go. And it doesn't really matter. Oh, where's my dauber? Um, you can also snip off a, a tiny bit or round corners if you want to, guys. Let's do this one a little bit shorter. I'm going to start here because here's where the gentleman is going to be in trouble if I cut it too wide. So there's actually no sort of a rule how big you need to cut them. Take off little snippies, longer snippies, wider snippies. Whatever you want, lovies. Got the inky tops. Yes, we're going to do with this one. I'm going to make these, see, at, an, at a completely different angle. And this just makes it interesting. If you have to do it all the same, all the time, it'll be boring. I'm going to make these sort of taller. Small, narrow, tall one, yeah. Yes, why not put it in your ink? So they're actually all really, really different. Because I use different angles. Interesting, right? Okay. Uh, did I ink this? I did not ink this. I have one more element that I want to add. Totally inspired by um, Melina. Melina Pilant. She did something with wax seals. I'm not going to do anything with wax seals. But it, she did sort of wind something around it. That I thought was really, really interesting. So let's finish these. What I want to do is just sort of wrap a piece of this hemp um, cord around it. This is about... 25 inches. I don't know. I just I just took off a piece. So I need to leave a, a little bit there. Yes. Wind it, wind it, wind it. Then make a knot. 
Now what Melina did was put a waxy on it. Um, it was fantastic. They were beautiful. Now I really need to see if I can make a knot where everything is sort of down. Why well, I don't want it to go this way. <laughs> I need to tie it differently. Because I want both of them to go to go downwards. This way then? I don't know. Oh yeah, that worked. That worked. Just gonna do a couple more. I want some ends um, left, yeah, to sort of tie together. Needs to be. This needs to be shorter. This needs to be longer. There you go. So I'm going to do these two as well. Already cute. Could be done. But I'm not. But I'm not. I want to make sort of uh, dangly things on them. Now you could put on uh, buttons or beads or what have you. But I'm going to try something different. <clears throat> I have another piece of this coffee dyed paper left. I'm going to put a stamp on it. The um, background stamp. This one. Yes. Now, I have a very tiny circle punch. This is half an inch. Because I want to make small circles. Four. Five. I need a lot. That didn't work. Oh, I need to sharpen it. I really need to sharpen it. Probably going to need some more. Okay. Let's see. I have a whole bunch. A whole bunch. What I want to do is glue them sort of together. Do we also want to ink them? Yes, we also want to ink them. That's going to be a lot of work. I'm going to do that off camera, guys. I'm just going to show you one. I'm doing this. Yes. Small little circles. Glue. There you go. I'm taking out my tweezers just in case. I don't know if it's going to work. Just going to put some glue on. Come on, Bart. Yes. Put this. I'm going to let it stick out even. There you go. I'm going to put this here and here. Very fiddly. It'll work. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm going to let the hemp cord stick out for a bit. Yes. Not finished, guys. Not finished. Already looks lovely. I know. But I'm going to add another thing. For no reason at all other than cute. <laughs> just wanted to make my own sort of dangle. Oh, I forgot to ink these. So I'm going to ink them. Once they are glued down. Putting most of the ink on my fingers. Great. I need to let them dry for a second. And then I'm going to add something else to them. I put all of them on. Yeah. Um, and now I'm taking out my cropper dial. And I'm going to try to punch a hole in the center of the small circle. And it's okay if also sort of cut through the 
through the hemp cord. That's, so, that's quite all right. Putting in an eyelet, a very small one. It is on the right setting. Now we don't have a lot of room. <laughs> there we go. Very cute. Very cute. And do the other one as well. Do not cut in your fingers, love. That's not in the middle at all. That's okay. Tada! Tada! I'm gonna do the other ones and I'm gonna try to put it in the middle because that's where they're supposed to be. And then, are we done then? I think so. I think after that, we're going to look at the end result. Here they are, all done, all cute and lovely. I added um, a, a little bit of more stamping, guys, because there was another stamp on this stamp set about Johnson's Bingo. <laughs> I really wanted to have it on here. So I added a little bit of stamping here and there, just for some board decorating. So let's take a look up close. There's a lot going on and still, because it's very neutral, it's very sort of tranquil. It's a tranquil kind of neutral tag love it so cute though you don't need to have roses and pink and fairies to have something cute because it does have lace on here yeah you could journal on the back however you need to journal all around strings if you, if you want to uh, because i am not really a journaler i don't really journal i don't have the time to journal um i never take into consideration if you could write on the back or not but you know or you or you can leave this off then the other one with the lovely couple added a piece of the stamp here as well. And again, you can journal on the back. You could add another topper, put uh, maybe some lace on the top instead of the of the twine. Now I really love the use of the of the stamps. We did so much with the stamp. We did stamping on the background. Then we did some stamping on a piece of paper and added it a little bit later. And then also added stamps on top of it, not as a background, but just more as a decoration. So, oh, and, and we made these, even made these. So, so many uses out of a stamp set. That, that's why I love stamping so, so much. And, um, and you can use it again and again. It's not a product that, you know, expires or runs out of. You cannot run out, run out of. Well, maybe in 10 years or something when your stamp doesn't really want to work anymore. The lovely ladies. Yes. And some more stamping with this beautiful lace. Cute, right? Yes, I really love them. Now, guys, for the stamp set, I'm going to have a couple of questions about these. If you're in the Netherlands, buy them at Duoding. I'm going to link them below. If not, try masterpiecedesigns.nl. It is also a shop. Yes, the prices are the same in the shop as at Duoding, but maybe they send to the UK or Australia, Canada or the US. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out, um, but you could send them maybe an email and ask them if you want them. I, I really, really love them. I think this is the nicest one uh, for me because I really love all the scripty bits. For this one, I really love this big stamp and all the splatter stamps to make your own splatter. So if you don't have any splatter stamps, that is the one uh, to use to make one yourself. And I will be using this one for sure. I'll probably not use these. But that, that's quite all right. So the one that I love the most is curvy, curvy letters. I love that one a lot. A lot. Going to use it a lot. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could sort of craft along. And maybe I gave you some ideas. Make it with flowers and botanicals or seahorses whatever whatever you want guys i'll be back again tomorrow with another project that is going to be a little bit more colorful than this one i just want to sort of alternate between oh i did not even use any no <laughs> i was just looking there i was like i was going to use this right yes well i didn't but i didn't okay guys i'm hoping to see you tomorrow with another project until then bye <laughs>